Here to talk more about it, Director of the West Virginia Chamber of Commerce, Steve Roberts. Uh, sir, thank you for being with us. The governor, Republican Governor Jim Justice, signed legislation banning sanctuary cities. What has been the impact of that on jobs? Marnie, thank you very much for having me on. I really very much appreciate the opportunity to get to speak with you and your audience here for a few minutes today. In West Virginia, we have, as you have pointed out, a significant um, need for new workers. And we have followed with interest our governor, who has been very much in favor of a secure and protected border, which we support. I think West Virginians um, broadly support our governor and his actions to help us protect the border. Our issue is really that we have, as you pointed out, over 52,000 job openings in West Virginia with projections for the need for more workers. And so we want to invite those who may be looking for employment um, who are from other states to come take a look at West Virginia as a place where they can make a good living and make a good life. What are some of the sectors, Steve, that have been most impacted by these openings and the shortage of workers? So we very much need workers in our construction, hospitality, and healthcare industries. Um, we have projections that have been put together from the U.S. Department of Labor and from private sources that tell us that in our state, we're having economic growth, we're having um, job creation, but we've got openings. And we've got openings for people everywhere from the, the top of the employment um, Spectra, uh, spectrum. We want to see more healthcare workers. We very, very much need more healthcare workers. We need physicians. We need allied health professionals, and we need uh, laborers. So it really runs the gamut, and um, that's why we are so uh, interested in getting the word out that there are job openings in West Virginia for people who want to work. As it relates to the migration issue, local businesses have been lobbying against some of the proposed worker screening legislation. What has been the story that these business owners have been telling? What's their greatest need and concern? Well, within the West Virginia Chamber of Commerce, we're a voluntary membership organization, and our members employ over half of West Virginia's workforce. So we hear from the companies that are actually on the front lines of trying to employ people and put people to work in good jobs. And what they are telling us is their issue is they need to find employees they want them to be legal workers, and we have significant processes in place to assure that in West Virginia, if you're a worker, you are a legal worker. We have both the I-9 process, which is a federal process, and we have state laws on the books to assure compliance. So we have a system in West Virginia that's working very, very well. Um, the uh, some of the systems are voluntary. Some of the systems are required by state and federal law. But the point is, they are working. Our issue in this state is we need a workforce. We are seeing baby boomers hit the retirement age and age out. We have not had the birth rates following the baby boom um, that would replace the workforce that is needed in our state and in our country. So we're, we're spreading the message that workers are needed in this state. And the spectrum is wide. Um, we need everyone from laborers to the most highly skilled here in West Virginia. Those workers, though, just can't be illegal immigrants. West Virginia has made that clear. So does that deter others from applying? You know, we, we don't think so. We, um, we are hearing from companies who say they like the system that we have. They believe the I-9 system in combination with our state laws um, is working well. Um, but we have in West Virginia, again, the need for healthcare workers, construction workers, uh, hospitality workers. And um, since we're not a coastal state, people don't necessarily, we don't have the population base um, that really can, can sustain itself. 
So we need we need workers to come here from other places. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.